I find if you get a nice layer running down your knife, you can just start at the base and get it to go in just like that. And then tap it all the way down. I'm just using this foam board because it's a lot nicer than banging on the desk. My first bottle that I did, it felt like it took forever and I was making a mess. But then I found if I get it in a nice row on my palette knife, and I can just get it in there like that. And it's taking way less time. I think I pretty much got this one empty. And just go around the edge. And then once I clean it off with my finger, I clean it off with a paper towel as well. how I get my Dilutions paints from the jars into a squeeze bottle. Okay, so what paint I could salvage, I have transferred into these bottles. <laughs> Want to hear something funny? <laughs> All the paints I had to use the palette knife and get, you know, put it in the way I showed you. There was one paint that I could actually pour into the bottle because it was fluid enough to pour. Which I'm guessing is because it may have only been open once so not a lot of air got to it. <laughs> Guess what color that was? <laughs> Laid back lilac. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> So there are some like my Polish Jade, my Rose, no, Peony Blush, and oh, my Cherry Pie. Those were pretty clumpy. And what I've done, actually even some of the better ones, I still added some and it got to them, got them to a better point. But I added some airbrush medium. Some I actually added airbrush medium and water, which is probably why this grand coffee, like I actually had to throw out some of the paint because it was right up to the top. So I don't know if airbrush medium has been added to all of them. Because some of them are pretty good, like the lot laid back lilac. <laughs> but a lot of them, I added airbrush medium and water to them. And like I said, like you can see the airbrush medium in there. It still needs to be, like I added more once I got the paint in there. And I'm hoping with it being in a closed bottle like not such an open mouth less air being able to get at it that it'll help mix it up and stay soft but I figured I got I got these bottles on Amazon and I got 30 of them for $20 
and I still have tons left over so I figured if it doesn't work and I can't get it out of the bottle no big deal I'm not gonna really lose out it was either gonna go in the trash or you know try something I do have four hold on I threw some in the trash quite a while ago they were beyond saving kind of like this so I already threw them out like ages ago but pure sunshine one of my absolute favorite colors after midnight funky fuchsia which I really don't care for anyway so I don't really care actually the only color out of these that I really care about is pure sunshine I have London Blue and After Midnight, but that's the only one that I really, really like out of those. But my husband is going to put some paint thinner in them. Like, he's like, if you don't care if they get wrecked, I can try. And I'm like, I took them out of the trash. Because <laughs> I had them thrown in the garbage when he suggested um, paint thinner. So I'm like, do whatever you want, whatever experiment you want to do, go ahead. Because... Like I said, I took them out of the trash. So you're not going to do anything worse to them. Right now they're like hockey pucks, so I can't do anything with them anyway. So I just thought I would share that I did put airbrush medium in there to help. And now I'm going to take these labels that I got from the dollar store and just write the names of the colors. because. I went on Ranger's website and I couldn't see labels for all her paint colors, only um, some of the newer ones well, and some of the older ones, but they weren't all there. Um, I think they may have been for like these rectangles, but they're really tiny and I really didn't want to bother <laughs> to be quite honest. I mean, I can see the paint color very clearly, so I don't need to see like the color on a sticker. So I'm just going to write them out and put them on the bottles. This is one that I've added some airbrush medium and water to and I'm letting it sit to see if I can get it to a point where it can go in a bottle. We'll see. If it can't go in a jar, I think I'll be able to use it. If it can't go in a bottle, I think I'll still be able to use it in the jar. I just might have to like squish it <laughs> onto the paper once I apply it. So we'll see. So hopefully that has saved my paints and I'm able to use them. So I think our other bottles are this size. Yeah, because this is only one ounce and these are two ounces. So I think the bottles may be like three ounce bottles. And I know the one was very full, but that's because, you know, it has airbrush medium and water added to it. So I hope this was helpful. And I don't know, I mean, if, if your paints get to a point where you're not really using them, I mean, what's the harm in trying something, right? So if you're in the same predicament as me with your paints, good luck. <laughs> Bye. So remember that jar of post box red. This is one or two days later and I'm about to open it to see how it's doing. <laughs> it's 
Definitely not going in jars. As you can see there, are clumps. I did buy some from Simon Says Stamps. I bought some jars of paint in colors that I thought I would use more. I didn't bother replacing colors that I know I'm I'm not going to use, like you know, purple <laughs> and some of the blues, like the dark after midnight and stuff like that. I didn't bother replacing those. But I did get another post box red, so I don't even know if I will bother. Like, yeah, you would have to squish that an awful lot on your paper in order to get it to spread. I think you could, like, oh, let's just see. Now that's over oxide. Um, ink but yeah you're not going to get it to flatten out on paper so I'm just going to throw this one in the trash and my husband did add um, I guess I can call him by name because it's kind of like you all know him now after he did his video <laughs> so Mark he put um, paint thinner in the other jars and it did nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I don't think I'll bother trying anything else with them because there was only one of the colors that I really cared about. The other ones I wouldn't bother replacing. And I bought the one that I cared about which was Pure Sunshine. So. That's an update, and I think I'll show you what they look like in my drawer. I used to have, the way my drawer was organized before with the jars, it all looks so pretty and organized. And I do find now with the bottles, it's not, I mean, I love that she switched to the bottles because I'm hoping it saves the paint, but it looks so much prettier in my drawer with the jars. <laughs> But I know looks is not everything. But I will take the camera off the ceiling mount and I will show you what my drawer looks like. So this is the drawer in my island. And I'm sure it would look a lot nicer too if it was all of Diane's bottles instead of a mixture of the ones I put in there and her bottles. But my husband made me new dividers because my other ones were very low and this kept, they all kept falling over every time I opened and closed the drawer. So he made me higher ones so I shouldn't have that problem. But look it, all nice and organized. So I have for each color, I have the blending tool and well there's no foam on that one, I need a new foam. But you'll have the blending tool, the paint, and then the ink spray in the bottle, and then the ink spray in one of the Koi water brushes. And that's how I have it, like I have it all together. And then I also, I didn't have it organized this way before, but this time I organized it so this is my neutrals, well minus the brown. Um, I printed off her sheets, you know, your neutrals, your warm colors, and your cool colors. So I put my neutrals together, and what I have left of the purple is in the back. And then I did my warms, and then I did my cools. And I did find these labels do not want to stay stuck to the bottle. I even used some double-sided sticky tape on, t on the back of the sticker and it still doesn't want to stay stuck. Anyway, and then I have the mica sprays and the shimmer sprays laid down in the extra spots. And that's extra, that's the paints that I bought. 
like I have Tangerine Dream, but I actually tried saving what was in the jar and put it in one of these bottles. So I'm going to try to use this before I open the new bottle that I bought. Because when I purchased these, I didn't think I was getting anywhere with these. So I ended up with a few backups, unless I go to use that and it doesn't work. I hope you enjoyed that little bit and I hope the whole airbrush medium helps if you know your paints are not great. If they're at this point, it's kind of too late. So thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.